If you want to show last refresh date time in your Power BI report, you usually go inside Power Query Editor, create a new blank query, and use this function called datetime.local now. Then you switch it to a table, and then change the column's data type to date time. This can be used to show last refresh date. But do you know there is a very big problem in this approach? And it's not about the time zone difference between Power BI service and your local. In this video, we will understand the issue and find out its solution. All right. Before I start, if you want to see your local time after publishing it to Power BI service, you need to adjust the time difference between your local time zone and UTC time. Because Power BI service shows UTC time. For that, you can simply add or remove the time offset value. For example, if my time zone is UTC plus one hour, I will add one hour to this value using time function. I can even use time zone functions inside Power Query Editor. Additionally, you can also adjust the daylight saving time if needed. For now, I am adding five hours, 30 minutes to match my current time zone. Use this measure and publish this report to Power BI service. Let's refresh my data set and see what happens. After successful refresh, I found that my measure is showing different time than the actual refresh time. There are around five minutes of difference between my actual refresh date time and my report time. So what is this date time? If I go inside the refresh history, I can see that this is nothing but the refresh start time. And this data set took five minutes to refresh and it did not calculate that. And if you have a very big data set which takes more time and you are very specific about the refresh time, this is a problem. So how to solve this issue? All right. I posted a video about getting refresh history of a data set using REST API and Power Automate. But many times people don't have access to use APIs. So I will create a workaround, which will show you very close results. Here I have three tables. First of all, I will add a calculated column inside my sales table. I can give it a name. The expression for this column is nothing but UTC time plus time offset value. Now I can copy this expression and use it to create the calculated column for my product table. I will just change the name of it. Similarly, I will add a calculated column to my customer table as well. Now, I will create a measure to find the maximum value from all these timestamps. I can give it a name, and for the expression, I will use maxx function, where I can bring all three timestamps from three calculated columns, and then check which is the maximum value from all three. Use this measure in a card and publish this report to Power BI service. Let's refresh again. After successful refresh, you can see that my last refresh date time is now matching very closely to the reported date time. Both are showing 6.35 p.m. You can go to refresh history page and notice that the refresh started at 6.32 and ends at 6.35. As said, this is just a workaround to get this value as close as possible to the actual refresh time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.